Did you know I like the time to music with gameplay footage? It's true. Welcome back to Game of Plays World 2 in the desert, where I get deserted with no desserts. Terrible. Those palm trees are mocking me as they dance. Now that looks like a situation to go through the ceiling. If only I had some way to fly. Oh, hang on. There we go. It's good when there's no RNG happening. I can actually get stuff done quickly. I suppose that's the draw of just learning the layout. Uh, there's a... There's quite a few places to get coins here. At least up here. In fact, I've been up here so many times, I honestly forget what to do if you're stuck at the bottom. Sorry! There's been a lot of games where there's just paths you'll never take, and I won't see them. Which is why I can't really say everything I say is a walkthrough. If you're looking for real walkthroughs, like, real, real good walkthroughs, I suggest, like, one of those HTML pages that the Advent Gamific use nowadays, where they're really detailed and give Prima a run for their money. Oh yeah. More coins. Why can't I hold all these coins? Because I absorb them in my life essence. Please like and subscribe. Add money to my tip jar to give me actual life so I can live! That's a weird advertisement. What are you doing, Gable? I don't know. I just want to make some money on the internet. Get a Patreon like everyone else. I don't want to. Fine. Dick. Meanwhile, back in... The end. Why is it marked with N? Maybe it stands for new? Or. No, I don't know. Why would I yawn while playing cards? Yeah, I know, I know. Could you imagine Game Wolf plays Sudoku or Game Wolf plays a crossword? Or describe each agonizing play in detail down to the down to the, like the grid location oh my god that sounds like a great April, April Fool's joke you know do a let's play of tic-tac-toe or some shit <laughs> all right that's a chain chomp I'm told by my all the little birdies on the internet that the chain chomp eventually will unleash itself and you better fucking run away from it when that happens but I don't know why you'd be hanging around long enough to find out there's fucking time limits dude get on my level that's most of the reason why this isn't too much of an explorative game because of time limits kinda like gently nudging you along also points although it'd be cool if it would just be like no points if we got to zero Hell, even Sonic the Hedgehog is time limits. It may not seem like it, but in many Sonic games, I think it ends at like 10 minutes, and then Sonic's dead because he's like, you're too slow, and he dies of like... I don't know. He dies of being a character trait of which he's the opposite of. Hmm. No, I never did once think for a second if pipes could magically transport you when it looks like there's actual plumbing going to taking you into a little land piece in the sky. Nah, no, no, no. It's all about strategy that abstracts the reality just to make something fun. In fact, look up rule fun. Because it's fun. Lean up the pictures and get a prize. You only get the one to try. Alright, Swedish toad. Second time I made a Swedish joke. I don't know why. Oh, look at that, that fancy, that darling abomination. Thank you, whoever filled my one lyric with abomination. I'm sure Blonsky will thank you for your services for Soviet Russia. And then it gets Hulkified. Okay, another... This is the second level, which 
is totally a level, but isn't marked as a number. The other one with, like, the sun, which also is a level. And then you have this one, which is a level, even though it's a pyramid. I kind of like that. Makes you wonder, what the hell is a level designer doing? Be like, to hell with numbers! Strange objects on the map are in! Alright, carefully... Why am I giving you advice? Look, look. You don't need all these coins, alright? This is just the... The illuminating experience that is the coin gatherer. I am the coin gatherer. I gather the coin. I gather so much coin that I look greedy. I might spawn an evil twin of some kind. Future Warrior LPs, baby! The only reason I haven't really done Wario LPs is because there's a lot of non-linearity in a few Wario games, actually. Ones that aren't WarioWare, I mean. Although, I don't know if I'd LP WarioWare because... I guess maybe the main, like, story quest line, but... To get the full experience, you have to, like, ace each micro game. I'm sorry I'm getting off topic, guys. Back to the desert. Hey, you there. You have something I need. I will take it from you. Do, 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 do. So he happened to have a hammer on him. Why he didn't use it? Because boomerangs are in vogue. That's what the Cartoon Network people tell me. But if I use a hammer here, on the overworld map, use it, please. Boom, look! You get to pass the tree, somehow, which doesn't count as a level. And here's the one time- okay. But here's the one time there's a fire brother on the map, who has the second whistle. I really just wanted to kill him. Which is why it's the whistle I never- not get. First one was in, um... First two, maybe, actually. No, there was two in the first world, actually. So with this one, which would be the third one, you could go all the way to World 8 very quickly. Also, you like how threes and Roman numerals there? Little, uh, design quirks for you and me. I will not be using that item yet. I'm saving it for World 3. Where I will use it. Uh, so the king turned into a worm? Fucking thing? I don't know. Seems like not something you want to be in a desert. Although perhaps each each uh, creature they're turned into would be native to their world. So maybe something like that it would be in the desert. Actually, yeah. There's bugs in the desert. What am I talking about? This airship is Forest Green, sponsored by L.L. Bean. You know, in my in my world, L.L. Bean makes airships. And they're like a military provider. Okay. I don't know, I used to have their products. Look, more little advertising. No, it's just to talk about shit. It's not like I'm working for them. Much. No, I just kind of miss the... I, I miss catalogs. I don't really do catalogs anymore. I mean, yes, but it'd be more like looking up listings on the internet. I mean, I don't get like big books of like Sears. Or JCPenney's things. Like I may have in the past. To look up the one video game section and be like, Look, I do matter! Look at that asshat that throws wrenches at you. That's why they call him the Wacky Wrench, because he's so wacky! <laughs> so these guys, they're named after musical folk. I forget who Morton Jr. is named after. Fuck me. I know Larry is named after- wait, what? The first guy Larry is Larry King? That's not a musician. That's just some guy. <laughs> yep. That's that gray one. That gray one in the desert. Who's the least intelligent of all of them. Probably. Otherwise, Junior. In the context of the game. Some would think Bowser's middle name may have been Morton. 
Look, I'm getting fan mail. You can stomp on your enemies using Goomba Shoe. Yeah, but... Spoiler. This only happens in one level. What kind of tip is this? It's pretty useless. It's useless by the time you get there. Ooh, ah, tropical sounds. And levels that are likely underwater. When we come back, the Super Mario Water Experience. It's, it's, it's only on, uh, what do they call those? Like, the th those theaters where it's like, inside a globe thing. Yeah, IMAX. Super Mario 3 on IMAX. Next time.